Manchester. Okay, so we are day four, beginning of day four. We are in Manchester. This is the book, this is the trip that we're following. So, if we go to Manchester's day, it says that I took a tour of Old Tafford, which is the Manchester United Stadium. So, gone ahead and have booked a tour for that this morning. This one photo that I plan on reenacting, which requires me to unfortunately wear the dress shirt and tie. So I'll be wearing that today, or at least for the tour. Here's the photo here. The goal for today is to reenact this photo right here. So you can see that I'm in like a dress shirt. I'm in like a dress shirt and tie. It's the Man U Stadium. Now there's a lot of construction here at the time. This was back in 99. This one is gonna look very different, both because all that construction gear that I'm standing in front of won't be there, and there'll be actually be a building now there. I'm really excited. The Manchester United Stadium is pretty iconic. I also really wanna try and find this uh, Manchester United watch that I have in a lot of these photos. And then maybe I think I wanna try and play some football, some soccer with a viewer or just myself, try to find a pitch here. All right, I gotta get changed. So the thing is, I don't think they're gonna let us actually film in the stadium, so we might have to do a little bit of undercover filming. All right. Great, thank you. All right, so I'm on my way to Manchester United Stadium. Now, I imagine, like, if it's anything like the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, there's gonna be a metal detector trying to get in, which, of course, this microphone that I'm trying to hide will beep on. However, this is a zip-up tie, so, like, it'll probably beep anyway, so I was like, no, mate, it's this cheeky little zip-up tie, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, that'll get us by. If not, then we'll try to find other ways to film in there. <laughs> Oh man, that's where the photo was taken on that side. That's amazing. Got to Man U Stadium. Uh, security just saw me, thought I was a newscaster. Said there's no newscasters allowed in there, so I gotta strip this mic because I'm starting to sweat a little bit here. We're about to go through security right now. We're in full stealth mode right now. Had to lose the microphone. We've had a handful of security come up and ask if I'm a newscaster. They really don't want media here. Had to put away all the cameras, bust out this photo camera. We're really rolling video. It's all for the art of the craft. We in? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I am a part of this organization. <laughs> this is how I'm dressed. This place is huge. Pretty wild, this has got carpet. Oh, I'm going to the dressing room in Manchester United. Oh, it's crazy. Compared to the, like, the Leafs, this room isn't like blinged out at all. And apparently it's because he didn't want the players to be distracted. With. So we became friends with the uh, security guy, which is great, because now we have like a little bit more leniency. We're like, hey, can I take a photo here? Yeah. We're in the visitor seats right here. I don't know, this is for the players? Look at this view right here. Insane. In freaking insane. That's a wrap on the tour. Pretty cool. You can't come to Manchester and not go to this stadium. I came here when I was a kid, this is what the itinerary said. Dressed like this. We're in the menu gift shop right now. I'm gonna try and find the watch I had as a kid. Maybe pick up a football, soccer ball to play later, I don't know. Oh my god. See, it's a red watch, but like, this is a limited edition Manchester United watch. This would be like a thousand times the price of the one I had. There's no way. I'm not buying that. Now we just gotta reenact the photo. Based on this photo, this is probably the biggest change. They've now added a hill. That hotel is new, because that's not in the background of this photo. I think they were building this, East Stand, in this photo. So it, I'll be dressed like me, but I'll almost be like posing like him. Out of the entire trip, this is by far changed the most. All right, let's get this photo then.
We're heading to the north quarter to find a uh, Manchester United watch. I just don't know which way I'm going. Oh, right there, it's this way. Collectibles, miniatures, board games, no. For one of the world's biggest soccer teams, I didn't think it would be this hard to find a theme to watch. There's no souvenir shops here. Right? Like maybe there's a more touristy part of town we should be checking out. I might have to go to a mall. Couldn't find a Manchester United watch in the North Quarter. So we're gonna head to the mall. This is a cool ass city. I like the vibes here. It's gonna take us forever to find a watch in this mall. This place is huge. I think all the toy stores and like the lower end stuff is on the bottom floor. They got a sports store. Oh, there, 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 okay. Oh, sports leisure, boom. I don't know if we're gonna find this watch. One more and we'll call it quits. Oh, here's a watch store. Look at these. Hell no. $4,000, $5,000. Ay, We're on our way to Heaton Park to kick around the football a little bit. Um, I put it out on Twitter. See if anybody wanted to come. Anybody comes, great. If nobody comes, then I'm there to kick a football either way. Okay, so we're currently at a park uh, just outside of downtown Manchester to play some uh, football. Should be fun. I feel like I'm an official Brit now. We're playing some soccer here. Probably the worst place ever to have a meetup. <laughs> I dropped the ball on that because it's like, first off, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's like nobody here. And it was a 20 minute drive from downtown. Thank you guys for coming. What's your name? Uh, Sean. I'm Dan, I see you. Hello. Hello, Chrissy. Dan, nice to meet you. Do you live around here? We live in Leyland. Near Preston. Here. This morning we took two trains. Really? Yeah. So you want to kick around the ball a bit? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Right on, man. Eh? She's on, the, on, his, on her way. Yeah. She'd, uh, she walked off to try and find you, to try and work out where you were. So do you play football? I've, I've played it the odd time. I don't play it, like, ritually. No? <laughs> no. Me neither. So we're on the same page here. Yeah. So you're the football player. What's your name? Jamie. Nice to meet you. Okay, so we're gonna kick the ball around. You, you don't keep ups, right? This brings us to the next challenge, okay? I'm gonna be in net. In the side. Where is he not gonna think I'm going? Oh! She got it! They're all smiles who scored on me. Look at that. Good job. You guys ever heard of the trick for like a perfect high five? You like look at your elbow. Like if you look at my elbow and I look at yours. See? See that? <laughs> Every time. I've been a subscriber of Dan's for quite a while now. I follow Dan because I find him really funny. I enjoy watching him and the, the videos that he produces. I definitely relate to Dan in a way. I think our humour is quite similar. Meeting him has definitely kind of opened my eyes. He's so down to earth. He cares a lot about his fans. You know, he says in his videos he loves meeting his followers and his subscribers. His videos are quite funny and it's like stuff that like we sometimes end up doing. The biggest fan between me and my brother is probably my brother because he has more chance to watch more videos. Sean is a big fan of Danocracy because he watches them often. He watches it on, on his phone and then we'll watch them again in the living room together because he'll want to show me uh, what's gone on. Dan's just how I expected him to be, down to earth. He's just so friendly, approachable. He's just so lovable. <laughs> Okay, so that's a wrap on day four for Manchester. Great day. I mean, we went to Manchester United Stadium, Old Tafford, which was very much on like the schedule of this trip. I did that tour with my dad, and then we took the picture out front, which back then, the original building was being expanded for the first time. And being there today, it looks like it's been expanded twice since that photo was taken. It doesn't even look like the same place, but we got the photo, we matched up certain things. After that, I tried to find the Manchester United watch, which I was not successful. 
with. How big of like a dynasty or legendary team that Manchester United is, it's interesting to see that this city really doesn't have any gift shops other than at the stadium itself. And last but not least was the meetup I had, which was interesting. It was more of an intimate meetup. One, we picked a park that was quite a ways out of the downtown core of Manchester, which I didn't realize. I couldn't have asked for a better meetup, to be honest, even if it was just two people or three people. The fact that people are traveling to meet me is such a, I want to use the word humbling, but it's kind of a tacky word, but it is a humbling uh, experience because so much of this YouTube world, you can get caught up in numbers, but the fact that people are traveling to come and see me and come and hang out with me, uh, it means a lot to me, and it also makes me realize that I shouldn't find value in numbers, whether they're dropping or rising. Just know that there are people out there that appreciate what you do, and these meetups are really doing that for me, so I feel super refreshed from this trip already. We're off to Scotland tomorrow, we're flying into Glasgow, and then we're going to Dunblane, which is where my hotel is. Thank you, Manchester. I had so much fun. Next, Scotland. And I'll see you guys in the morning for the last day of this trip. See you guys later. So they didn't pack dress pants, I'm wearing jeans. So I've got like a wrinkly ass shirt with some jeans. Oh my goodness. I look like I sell insurance.